All right, Mike, now that the year's almost over, reflect back for me. Are you glad you came back for your super senior season with the Wildcats? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, the fact that I had an extra year, um, there's no place I would rather be in the country. Um, I've always, I've, I've already had four years going into this year and, you know, I want, I really wanted to help K-State get back to winning. So I'm, I'm glad I came back. What do you, uh, what do you kind of hope K-State fans remember you for after the season's done with? Um, I hope they remember me as a competitor. I mean, all I ever wanted to do was win. Uh, I got, I mean, I struggled at times, many times over my career, but all I ever wanted was for Kansas State to win. So that's what I wanted to be remembered by. Good answer. You, you've been through a lot of games, a lot of seasons with Kansas State. Is there one moment that kind of stands out as your favorite? Do you have one? Um, I have a, a lot of great memories here, a lot of great stories, but my favorite – it's probably beating Kentucky in the Sweet 16 when I was a freshman. Um, that was fun. I mean, in like three weeks before, I could have never seen that coming. Honestly, it all came, it happened so fast, and it was the experience of a lifetime. I don't think I've ever asked you this. What, what do you, what do you want to do uh, after the season? You want to play? You want to try to coach? You want to do something else? What, what are your career aspirations? Uh, I hope to play. I hope to play the highest level. Um, just work, work to get there. Uh, that's what I've done my whole life. Play basketball, work hard, and prove people wrong. Cool. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Go ahead, Michael. Hey, Mike, what's left in the tank for this basketball team, and what's uh, kind of prevented you guys from reaching your full potential? Um, I, I mean, I still think there's a lot left in the tank. And uh, I still think we could still reach our full potential. Uh, March March is a crazy time. Uh, we, we've experienced it before. But I like what we have. And I feel good going into the postseason. What kind of leadership qualities do you see coming out of Nigel Pack uh, from his freshman year into this year? Uh, becoming more vocal, more comfortable. Uh, obviously, he's as talented as they come, but as he gets more comfortable, he, he talks more. And what he says is very helpful because he's a really smart kid. He knows what he's saying. And it helps other people when he talks. And I think, he, I think he's going to continue to grow. And, it could be one of the best in K-State history. What are your re recollections of the Oklahoma game from your performance from last year? Oh, uh, I just remember just wanting to win. Uh, we had a really rough season. And all, all I wanted for my senior night was to win. So that's all I want this year, too, to win. What's it been like being playing in front of crowds again this year, which uh, as opposed to last season with the COVID and limited uh, limited attendance? Um, it, it's a blessing. I mean, I didn't realize how much it was taken for granted before, before last year. And last year was really like a wake up call. Like this is, it's, it's, a, it's an honor to be able to play college basketball in front of fans. Um, the atmosphere is is amazing, and there's there's nothing like it. And what kind of uh, what are the, what's the message you send to the team about going to Kansas City and you guys uh, being able to get hot at the Big Twelve tournament? One day at a time. Uh, it starts with Oklahoma on Saturday. Get some momentum, get rolling, get feeling good, and. Uh, yeah, one day at a time. Have fun with it. Got nothing to lose. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, go ahead, Kellis. A few more for you. Uh, Mike, you guys have actually been pretty good in the, uh, the Big 12 tournament the last few years. You won last year. The year before that, you guys beat TCU in the first round before everything got canceled. 
what uh, what, what is it about you know the mindset you guys take in that event that helps you play well there um it's that nothing to lose mentality that go out play as hard as you can and it doesn't records don't matter nothing matters it matters it's a one game tournament every game and whoever wins gets to keep playing so whoever wants more is going to get it honestly and uh, I also wanted to ask N Nigel mentioned that you guys as players maybe came together and talked about whether you wanted to play an extra game or not he said the decision was you guys wanted to what uh what, what's the reasoning there why why do you guys want to play an extra game if it's added to the schedule um I mean we we missed it in a preseason and one win just puts us above 500 and there's a lot of teams out there that that they have good records just because they got they had some easy games. I mean, we had a tough schedule, honestly. And it'd be nice to add another one to the win column, just just to fall back on uh, in case we don't make the NCAA tournament. All right, fair enough. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Go ahead, Arnie. Yeah, Mike, I asked you after the game the, the other day, but uh, any more, have you given any more thoughts to this being the, being your, your final home game, possibly at Bramlage? And also, uh, is it kind of weird having a, getting two senior days? Yeah, so the reason, like, like I'm grateful and it's surreal, but I sort of went through this last year. So everything this year has just been extra, honestly. I had my four years, um, even though my first one was really cut short or started really late. But I, I sort of went into went into last year with the mindset like this was my last one. So everything this year has just been extra and it's just been a blessing. So I'm, I'm very grateful to have had the opportunity to play extra season in front of the fans in, in Bramlage. So I'm excited. And also, what what do you think have been your biggest contributions to the team, to the team this year coming back, and what what were your goals besides obviously winning, but uh, that you could could add to this team? My goal was to get Kansas State back back to to winning, get us back into a good position because we had a rough two years, and I know what Kansas State's like when it's at its best, and I feel like this year we took a big step in the right direction. And this year is still far from over. The the best has yet to come. So my contribution was just helping Kansas State get back to Kansas State days. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, go ahead, Grant. Hey, Mike, I just got one for you. Um, are you guys aware of how close uh, Coach Weber is to 500 wins and if it's something um, you guys ever discuss? How close is he? I believe he's three wins away. Oh, wow. Wow, I didn't. I actually didn't know that. And, uh, yeah, I haven't discussed that. But I feel pretty confident that we could get him there. Very confident. So, that's cool. That's a cool feature. So, yeah, I think yeah, we'll make it happen. Do you think it gives you an extra boost of confidence to try to get him to 500? Yeah, it actually it, it does. It's it's just another reason to come motivated, more motivated, and play harder. Um. So, yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, man. Take it easy. Yeah, thanks for letting me know, too. <laughs> for sure. Uh, go ahead, Michael. Mike, what do you see in this freshman and sophomore group that can continue to elevate the program and put it on the continuing on the right track? Um, uh, there's a lot of of like talent that's that's different from each other. Like a lot of players who have different games who could, could who complement each other very well. And uh, I'd like to I'd like to see them have a really good off season. Um, work hard and come back next year and really, really dominate defensively because I feel like they have the athleticism, quickness to come back and, and be an elite defense in the country. 
Thank you, Mike. Hey, Tom. <laughs> Mike, I guess I'll, I'll ask, I, well, I'm not hearing Tom, but I guess I will just ask, you mentioned being through this before. Um, is it any different than a year ago, other than it's just a different time with, with the emotions and, and what's going on in your everyday life, everyday world? Um, I'd say it's just like a different, different feeling. Uh, last year, it was a lot of uncertainty with COVID and the extra year and just the whole season that we had with COVID and what we dealt with. So. This year just feels more, it feels, it feels right this year. And I'd say that's the difference. I, I guess the last one I'll ask you is since you didn't know, this isn't criticism, this is just throwing this out here. You did not know about Coach Weber closing in on 500. Do you pay any attention to your numbers? As an example, if I told you you're shooting 42% from three in Big 12 play, would that surprise you? Or do you know that? Um, I figured that I was shooting better. In conference, because I started I'm off so, I started so so bad this year. So I figured I was shooting better, but that's that's pretty cool. Why why better? Is it just work, better shots, both? Uh, no, I think at the beginning of the year I was sort of like uncertain where my shots were coming from, so I, I took bad shots. Mm -hmm. And as the year got on, I got. I started to understand my teammates more. I realized where my shots would come, so I, I knew what to expect, and I got comfortable. And uh, I put the reps in before and after practice, so it was just knowing where my shots were coming from and trusting my shot. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Thanks.